the cabin car. Is she worth it? I think so. Hi everyone and welcome back to my vlog. I just thought I'd show you around my scooter which has arrived. Okay, I mean there's me brick wall because I park it in front of the house. Okay, you've got you've got space to put a little bit on your dashboard there. And if you look there's a gap. There's a gap here, look. Well, not very deep. That's for your heating. Where your heating comes out of. Right now, all that's there, and I put a little non slip mat on, mat on here. Just stuck that down so I can put cigarettes and that in there. I've got a cup holder down here, which when I have a drink, I clip that off and I put it in the door. But it is. It's not the right one. It's not working out very well, that cup holder. Okay, let me just say that. Um, I've put a bag, a pram bag, in front of me here. So I've got a filthy, dirty ashtray, don't look. And I've got a bag here, so I've got another cup holder here. But bear in mind, there is a cup holder behind this bag, further down. Okay, so you can use that. The controls... If you've used a mobility scooter before, it's exactly the same as any other mobility scooter to use. You've got the dials for high and low, there's high and low, and then the lights just tell you whatever. You've got you, obviously your hazard lights, your headlights, your horn, which I must hasten to add, I've honked at people who are in front of me to ask them kindly to move out the way so I can get past them. They don't even hear it. Waste of time. Okay, well, mine is, it's a waste of time, because people do not hear it. Right. Now, the rear view mirror, if you can see, it, it doesn't, because the seat's so high, and it won't go any lower, your head is in the way of looking out the rear mirror, but... When you go in reverse, that does light up so you can see clearer, if that makes sense. Now, all the ones I've seen of these on the internet, on YouTube, looking at them, all this bit here is plastic. Mine, why it's come carpeted, I don't know. But let me say, I will be so honest with you, why they put a heater in here, to be honest with you, I don't know. Because the heat, once you get in here, within two minutes, it's, it's like a sauna. So in the summer, you're going to want the windows down. So I'm glad I chose this model, because all the other ones have those, like, half windows. Whereas this, I can roll all the way down, which is handy. Right. The door opens that way. Oh, yeah. This here, in the UK, that's where you go and put your washing liquid to do your window when it's dirty. That's there. Um, you, did, you do get a handbrake. You do get a handbrake, which is there, but it doesn't feel very... I haven't tried it yet, to be honest with you. And then down here, you've got your windshield wipers and your water, your wash. Okay, the tiller does go up and down. It's up at the moment. And with that bank there, there's plenty of room to get out. I'm sure I've got the shopping in there at the moment. Yeah, you like my ramp? I'm getting a new one, thank God, it's broken. Right, there's t two wells on each side of the tiller, which I find excellent to put my feet on. It's really comfy to put on and put these in there. So if I want to put like little receipts or a pen or anything, 
I've got them there. Now, the back, show you, you've got a shelf, okay, so you can put drop shopping behind the seat and you've got more room down the bottom there to put some more shopping if you so wish. I've put a bag on the back of mine so that I can hold bits and bobs like window scrapers and paper towels and I bought this little plate thing. I don't know if you can see it, it hooks on. I can hook that onto the door handle if I'm having something to eat out, which is really handy. It really is. And I've put some lights which are falling down with blue tack, but I'm gonna get I've got some what they called suction cup hooks coming. So I should put them up with that. But it's all carpeted as you can see. Okay. You have to lift the handle up on the seat to put it back. Seat's very comfortable. It really is. Um I mean they've sh the only way to charge this, believe it or not, is uh, I've got an outside charger there and it, it's so stupid, believe me. You have to literally open the window, a crack, put the charger in here, plug it in, put the plug outside the window, roll the window back up, and then plug it in. Why they didn't put an outside charger in, I don't know. It's ridiculous. Right, that's the scooter. I'm just going to go inside. I just want to get everything out. I think I'll get my husband to get the bag. It's too, it's too heavy for me. <laughs> so that's the back of your car. you like my scooter it's definitely definitely fun to go out on the downfall of it all right let's do the pros and cons the pros you're undercover the whole time and in the UK we all know even in the summer we get a lot of rain so I'm not gonna get wet I'm cold, I'm not going to get ill with that, which is a God blessing because of my breathing, my lungs. Um, it feels like a car. I've never had a car in my life, I've never been able to drive. I've, I can drive, but I've never driven in my life, I've never passed my test. Um, so to me it's the next best thing. Um, you can hold more on that than you can a normal scooter. So when I do shopping, I can put more in there than I can a normal scooter, which is good. Um, whew, I feel safer than on a normal scooter. I feel a lot safer. Um... Right, I'm sure there's more pros to it than that, but let's give the cons now. Right. It is so slow. It says it does eight miles an hour, I'm sure it doesn't. It is so slow. Two. At night time, there's no interior light, so if you want, if you open the door, it doesn't light up, so you can't see for the keys and that. So yet again, you have to feel your way, or you need a torch to see what you're doing. Um, 
as I said before, when you look in the rear view mirror, your head's in the way. So it does light up. And I think that is the reason they've done it, is because they put the camera in there like that, because it is in the way, which is so annoying. You know, I'd like to be able to see... I, I, I mean, you can see about that much inside of your head, you know? And the seat won't go any lower, so I can't adjust that. Right. Um, what else is there? It's awkward to get in sometimes. You've got to angle yourself just right to get in. Because it goes low... You've got a low bit, about that much of a real low bit. To just, like, put your foot in. But then when you go to adjust yourself, like, hold on to the steering wheel or whatever you want to call it, and pull yourself up and adjust yourself, believe it or not, you hit your head on the mirror. And it, it it really is awkward to get in and out. Out is easier, believe me. But to get in is, is... And I can't seem to turn... You know, it says that the seat turns. I can't seem to do that because there's, like, no room to do it. How they work that one out, I don't know. There's no... Right, um... What other cons are there? Um... It's got no radio in it, so I put the radio on my phone and listen to it that way. The USB port is brilliant to have, but I would also have liked to have had a cigarette lighter, you know, so you can plug, like, a little hoover in there or whatever to clean it and things like that. Um, a proper little dashboard would have been nice, and also, a like, a glove box type thing. So you can put bits in there and lock that up as well as, you know, that would have been nice. Um, but all in all, I must admit, I do like it. It's, 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 it's my tortoise. It's my sparkling tortoise. And I will be doing it up eventually. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm just waiting at the moment because I've had a few hiccups with it but um the manufacturer in this country oh it's my doggy <laughs> hello Dino hello Dino yes kissy kisses kissy kisses yes boy okay enough enough do you don't leave leave come on you can't be in the vlog come on Oh, see what I have to put up with? Bless him. He's a bloody horse, he is. He's a great Dane. And he's only a puppy, believe it or not. He's only just turned one. Just turned one. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I've had a few... <laughs> I've had a few hiccups um, regarding the scooter... Um, which they're still trying to sort out. But um we'll get that we'll get into that once we sorted the scooter out. I'll explain it all then, okay? Anyways guys, look Don't me nails, don't me nails. Look, I've got a twitch. My god, I've got a twitch. Don't me nails, little roses. So if you want to see any videos of doing nails or art, please let me know. You know, it's nice to know. No one's bothered saying anything yet, so it would be really lovely if someone would comment. It would be nice if you want to see anything. Okay? All right, guys. Well, my breathing's back to normal just about now, and I'm going to go and have a cigarette and a cup of coffee. Right. Love you loads. Pixies, fairies, unicorns. Bye.